Don't cause harm unless it's unavoidable. When it's unavoidable, fight like hell. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Karate Nisente Nashi. Or in a language I do speak, there is no first attack in karate. It's Funakoshi's second precept and possibly his most famous one. So famous in fact, that it's engraved in Funakoshi's memorial at a temple in Kamakura. In most, if not all karate publications, karate is described as a way to defend yourself or your loved ones from harm. This is the first rule and should always be remembered by anyone who ever studied it. But self-protection isn't just making sure you don't get hit in the face by blocking or dodging. It's also making sure that that punch doesn't get thrown in the first place. You can't lose a fight that never happened. So if you can prevent conflicts and violent encounters, you're always better off. By the way, now's a great time to punch that subscribe button peacefully. So about Funakoshi's saying, whenever you find yourself in a situation where the shit may hit the fan, physical forces should not be your first line of defense. Only when all other means of prevention have failed should you resort to actual violence. Even the samurai were careful not to recklessly draw their swords, as a drawn sword would end in bloodshed. The hands and feet of a karateka can be compared to a samurai sword. It's even one of Funakoshi's precepts, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Now, as I said, avoid the fight at all costs, but be prepared to fight if all else failed. Again, you're not Jesus, you can't keep turning other cheeks. You only have four, after all. So, there is no first strike in karate is more akin to another saying many of you may have heard somewhere. With great power comes great responsibility. This saying may fit better with next week's precept, so I'll be sure to mention it then too. Anyway, don't cause harm unless it's unavoidable. When it's unavoidable, fight like hell. Dominate once the fight begins and move and attack first. This last part may sound strange, but karate nisente nashi is often misinterpreted as you should never attack first. So make sure this distinction is clear to you. In Multiple Choki's book, there is a section that talks just about this. Multiple says it's misunderstood and as such taught wrong according to this misinterpretation. He goes on to say that once it's been established that a fight is about to ensue, the most important thing is to win. This outcome can be accomplished with the first attack. Understanding this allows us to see why attacking first is not only valuable, it's necessary. Of course, in many dojos this principle is taught well enough, yet I wonder if Funakoshi's second precept is mentioned here too. I'll explain. Remember, this is when the fighting has begun. First, you train as you already do. Punch comes to face, you move your arm to push punch away from face. This is responding to an attack after it's been initiated and is called Go no Sen. The second step is this. You see your opponent move their hand or arm, or they look down or something like that. And before they throw their punch, you have already thrown yours. This is still reacting, but this is reacting to the move of the opponent before they launch their attack. You anticipate the attack and react. This is called Sen no Sen. The final step is this. You are well trained and you can sense intent in your opponent. Whether it's the way they talk, the way they breathe, or any other type of non-verbal communication, the intent of the opponent is to attack you and you preemptively launch your attack. This type of anticipating with only action and no reaction is called sen sen no sen. Watch out with that last one though, especially in today's world. A lot of people may want to punch you in the face, or is that just me? But most will never actually do it. So don't go punching people in the face for no reason. So. It's not a bad idea to also have a basic knowledge of the local laws regarding physical violence before you go and start punching. This leads us to Funakoshi's third precept. But that will have to wait until next week. Or if you're watching this at a later time, go ahead and click here for the next video. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day. And as always, thanks for watching. There is no chin behind Chuck Norris's beard. There is only another fist.